Hey what's up guys, Midge HD here and I'm here with another awesome model. This is the KLM 777-300ER in the new livery. Make sure you check the description for any information you may have missed or any other stuff like that. Uh, my social media, my Facebook and Twitter will be down there. And the website where I pre-ordered this from which was easytoys.com Their link will be down in the description as well. So, so anyway, this is my 16th 777 model and it is my third KLM model. Some information about KLM. The operations base is out of Amstelveen in the Netherlands. Main hub is Amsterdam Schiphol. They were founded on the 17th of October 1919 and they are currently the world's oldest airline still in service. Their fleet consists of 115 aircraft as of the 26th of June 2015. 25 of these are 777s, 10 are 777-300ERs and 15 are the 200ERs. Uh, they have one more 777-300ER on order. They, about, uh, they go to 138 destinations worldwide and with the 777 they fly to the destinations such as Singapore, Buenos Aires and uh, Osaka and there are lots of others there as well. This aircraft's first flight was on the 12th of February 2015 and delivered to KLM on the 27th of March 2015. The Boeing customer code for KLM is 06. So I'll show you around the box here. So we've got the Gemini 200 logo, KLM, picture of the aircraft, and 777, and then on the back, Gemini 200, and all the other normal information you get with it. Licenses, and there's the top of the box, the right, the bottom, the left. Alright, so let's take a look inside. And this is their new uh, box, like like the inside. Um, they don't have the flap like the 787s do, uh, but hopefully in time we will see that. And there is the model. Alright guys, so the model is now out of the box and we'll start at the port side at the cockpit. So we see the cockpit windows, window wipers, the Radome Sky Team logo because they're part of, part of Sky Team which is a group of 20 airlines. Then the Air France KLM because that's a parent company. On the gear door we see ETOPS, extended operations, usually given to twin engine aircraft. And then we see National Park uh, Tijuca, or Tijuca, I'm not sure how to say it exactly, but Tijuca National Park, it is a, it is in Rio de Janeiro, and it is claimed to be the world's largest urban forest. And by the way, KLM named all their 777-300ERs after national parks around the world. And then KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. You see the pedo tube static ports and all those other markings. You see the new livery, it's got a nice curve to it. This was introduced in 2014. Then you see the beautiful G90-115B engine. You also see the inboard landing light there. The strake on the nacelle. And the fan blades, they spin very easily that one as well All right. okay let's continue along the leading edge of the wing and we see the navigation light, red navigation light and the strobe light the wing tip there and coming back along the fuselage we see the flying dutchman Registration PHBVN or Papa Hotel Bravo Victor November. Then there's the Netherlands flag because this is the uh, flag carrier of the Netherlands. The European Union flag, Boeing 777, and then the KLM logo. Right, so let's check out the APU. And as expected, very well done APU.
now on the starboard side. Cockpit windows, Sky Team logo, Air France KLM, E tops, and then you see it in English decals on the other side. It was in Dutch, and T Tijuca National Park. KLM Broad Dutch Airlines. There's the front cargo container door. Inboard landing light, G90 engine, green navigation light on the wingtip here, rear cargo container door in the bulk bin door, flying Dutchman, the registration, the two flags, and all that other stuff there. You'll clearly see the rudder markings and the trim. Alright, so now let's take a look underneath the aircraft. <clears throat> so we've got the first gear, Gemini Jets logo, we've got an antenna right here, beacon lights, um, hole for the stand, main gears, gear doors. Never seen this on the 777, the uh, red markings. You see the right wingtip there. Flaps, slats, ailerons, and all the other good stuff. This side's the same with the registration. Continuing down, we see two antennas. See the little hump here for the for when there's a tail strike and the housing for the APU. On the top of the aircraft. Anti-collision light, antenna, overwing exits, the wings, flaps, slats, ailerons and spoilers. See the no step marking on there. Very, very well detailed. The two ADF antennas, SATCOM. Two more communication antennas, and then there's another antenna in the tail here. And then you see there's two grey dots there. And there, those are the logo lights, which light up the tail at night time. Alright, so now I'll get into the seating for this aircraft. So there are two versions of seating. Uh, the first one. Uh, we have World Business, 35 flatbed seats from rows 1 to 5, here to here. And then Economy Comfort, 40 seats from rows 9 to 14. So that is here to here. And then here all the way to the back. Uh, economy, 350 seats. Rows 15 to 23, 30 to 43, and 50 to 63. That's a total of 425 seats. Version 2, World Business, 34 flatbed seats from rows 1 to 6. So there, to about the same place again. Oh no, sorry, a little bit further back actually. So there. Um, economy Comfort, 40 seats from rows 10 to 14. So here to here. Then here, all the way to the back of the aircraft, again, economy, 334 seats, rows 15 to 22, and 30 to 43, and 50 to 63, bringing the total to 408 seats. So it's a pretty cramped aircraft, because they do have 10 abreast. Right, so, I'll get ready to put the aircraft on the stand. Just a general Gemini Jets stand, Gemini Jets logo. So I just peel the film off here, which protects the metal on the back. And it's okay, it's not all coming off, but I'll get most of it off. Reveals a nice shiny metal back. Padding on top to protect the model underneath so it doesn't get scratched. And there we have it. It's an amazing looking model. And um, go through some features. So the gears roll, which they should roll. 
little bit, these ones roll quite nicely. Uh, they tilt as you can see, so it's landing configuration there. Uh, the front gear swivels so you can turn in any direction you want when it's on your airport runway. Uh, they are magnetic as well. Come straight off. You can put them back on again just like that. Except uh, these ones require slightly more work to get back in. And when you want it in the in flight configuration, gear doors. And one thing I want to mention when you get yours, just be a bit careful. Because I noticed with mine, if you, if you may be able to see here, probably can't. But uh, I noticed the wing was a bit loose. And I just made it, I just pulled the wing a little bit. And the wing just popped off right into my hand. So just be a bit careful when you get yours. It wasn't glued down. Um, I'll get some glue, glue later and just pop it back in there and so it doesn't come out again. But um, apart from that, that, this is the end of the video now. I really, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really recommend this model. It's a beautiful looking model. And the new livery, it looks so awesome. Uh, please like the video if you did enjoy. Comment, tell me what you think. Tell me if you're going to get the model. Please share so other people, uh, other people can decide if they want to get this model. Subscribe for more. Next video is a Vietnam Airlines A350-900. That's a must-see. I have five more videos left. Check out my previous five videos, like my KLM 747, the two in New Zealand 787s, and uh, the others. So anyway, guys, I do really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.